Welcome fellow freaks, geeks, and nostalgic 90s nerds to my channel, Slime and Slashers, where, yep, we talk about everything from Nickelodeon slime to horror movie slashers, but lots of stuff in between too. And I would say that today's video does fall in that in-between area. Although it does tend to lean a little bit more towards the horror side of things, I actually consider this video to be much more Halloween-y! And that makes me very excited because I cannot flip and wait for fall time and autumn and I'm even going to start celebrating on the first day of fall which is actually in late September so I can't wait. This will increase my anticipation and hopefully increase you guys' anticipation. But you might be thinking, but Kelsey, what are you doing? Why are you releasing a halloween -y video in July? It's not the right time of year. It's not fall. Well, I know it's not fall guys, but the reason is I've been watching a lot of booktube lately, and I've been seeing a lot of people do these Summerween TBR videos, and I think it's kind of fun, and although this particular video is not going to be about books or anything to do with reading, I thought, hey, why not make a autumn vibe video? Why not make a Halloweenish video? What's What's the difference? Why not? Let's get hyped for fall. And so I'm really excited to show you guys a feature I actually produced back in 2014 at the television station that I worked at for many, many years. So back in 2014, the taping of our show coincided with Halloween. And so they decided, my coworkers, they all knew how much my family and I loved Halloween and how we decorated our house from floor to ceiling. They thought, hey, let's do a feature showcasing you and your family's Halloween decorations. I said, okay, sure, why not? So the cool thing is though, and the funny thing is, is that the video really only shows a third of my family's Halloween decorations. We have many more decorations that are not even glanced at in the video. And that's for a multitude of reasons. One, we started to decorate a lot more as the years went on. So like, say if I did this video in 2018, a lot later, then we would have had more decorations just because my, my mom and my dad and I would have bought more decorations. But also we just kind of amped up our, our little thematic house decorations over the years. So I'm excited though for you guys to see this. And in October, I have more footage from a later year that I'll show you that does show more of the extensive decorations. But for this, it's kind of just the tip of the iceberg, a little taste to whet your appetite for oh, autumn. So anyway, let's get right to it. You'll see it right after this intro. Thanks. My family and I take Halloween pretty seriously. Come on in and see. Here in our dining room, we have a haunted mantle, a Halloween tree, and creepy skulls. This is my friend Creature. He helps me do the dishes. This chef's souffle fell, so we ended it. This is the Frankenstein fireplace. It's alive! And be careful of the devil, he may drag you into Hades. Here's our horror movie and TV diorama bookcase. Each shelf represents a movie or TV show. There's Ghostbusters. Who are you gonna call? There's Night of the Living Dead. And Zombies. There's the Munsters. We have to have the Master of Horror, Alfred Hitchcock and the birds. There's flying saucers. We've got classic universal monsters right in the center. Be sure to watch where you walk in our living room. You don't want to sink into any nest quicksand. Carry some silver bullets with you when you visit our werewolf corner. How about a slice of pizza? And Morgus doesn't have anything on our mad scientist. Be sure to watch your brains when you walk into our zombie area. We think the infection started when these toxic waste barrels spilled. Who 
hope you enjoyed our spectacular home. Happy Halloween!